hello students here in this video i want to provide you first introduction of this book this book is apc understanding computer applications with java in icc we have one subject that is computer applications in this we have to study java and with blue jay blue jay is a software which provides a platform so that java can run on our system and now what is our content or what is our syllabus what we have to study see we have contents first first thing they have focused is object oriented programming concepts why they have provide this concept as a chapter 1 because this concept have this much importance that's why this is our first chapter see here our first chapter is introduction to object oriented programming concepts why we are going to start is of this concept because java follows this concept see here basic c c++ java the popular languages popular languages high level language popular high level language which follow concept of oops and similarly we have few more high level language that is basic cobol fortran and c which follows procedure oriented programming concepts actually we have two concepts one is object oriented programming and another one is procedure oriented programming we have to study both the concepts but which one is important for us object oriented programming because java follows object oriented program we have to stand understand both the concepts and i am introducing both the concept parallelly so that you can understand it in a better way see here i have taken first similarities of both the concepts first both are concepts or we can say both are approach which is followed by a computer language first of all what is computer language a language which is followed by computer so that we can communicate with computer we have so many languages in india why we have language so that a person can communicate with another person the similar way if we want to communicate with computer then we need computer language here we have machine level language assembly language high level language first of all what is machine level language machine level language is a low level language which contains only zeros and ones so first of all what do you mean by zero and what do you mean by one actually machine knows only current current either in a low form or in a high form zero indicates slow and one indicates high in this language everything is present in the form of zeros and ones that's why it is difficult to remember difficult to understand that's why we have another language that is assembly language assembly language contains few keywords and zeros and ones together that's why it is easier than machine level language but still it is difficult to understand that's why we have another language that is high level language with high level language we have only keywords which is english words from english words we can able to create any program in a easy way we are not supposed to depend upon machine 
in the form of zeros and ones i think you are able to understand what are these language all about and then again i am back on concepts see everyone first of all i'm talking about first difference that is oops emphasis on data rather than function actually it is not data it is data see few person says data and few person says data we have to concentrate on data see emphasis on data rather than function means first of all we have to concentrate on new word that is data i think it is not new for you but so many of you don't know the meaning of data meaning of data is raw facts and figures raw i think you know because we have studied raw materials means the things which is not in use or not being used which is important for us but not be used the raw facts and figures are known as data see first of all what we are going to input inside a computer system that is data and when the data is going to be processed and we are getting some output from the data that is information for us for example if teacher is going to create your mark sheet then first of all teacher have to collect data and then teacher have to process it process means teacher have to total it find your percentage she have to find your percentage and then the ranking she have to fill your attendance and then after filling everything in your mark sheet you are getting an information that you have scored this much percentage or this much total or this much rank that mark sheet is information for you is it clear i think so and then the next keyword what we are using is functions functions mean ex- activities organizing groups or we can say instruction for computer to follow you know which is organizing again in groups see again we are going to discuss the same point emphasis or stress on data or data rather than function see if we want to create mark sheet then first thing what we have to do we have to collect students data then we have to collect the knowledge how we have to create a mark sheet but in pop firstly they are going to create a mark sheet and then they are going to focus on what students scored what they have to put on that to so which one is better i think this one why it is better why this one is better if we have established one company without taking a knowledge or without any survey then make company face a loss the first of all what they have to do they have to collect data then it is possible to establish a particular company and it runs well i think you are able to understand what this point who want to say see the next it follows bottom to top programming approach it follows top to bottom programming approach 
see here i want to tell you with one example we have already listened about the bonding stories divide and rules policies if we stand together then no body is able to break us if we split it into parts any one can stand in front of us and break us that's why i have taken an example of five sticks if we want to break five sticks if we have tried together it is difficult for us to break them but if we have split them into parts then it is easily breakable see five sticks into three into two parts and three sticks again we have tried if we have not able to do then it is split into again two parts two sticks one sticks two sticks again tried not able to do then one stick one stick and we have one one sticks then it is easily breakable means if we have taken a problem and we are still thinking that is the biggest problem ever then we are not able to solve it we have to split them in two parts so that we can easily deal with that problem in this way we have two approaches see either from bottom to top or from top to bottom so here top to bottom or bottom to top either you split problem into parts and then solve it either you take problem in a biggest way and then split into parts this why i have written a divide problem a program into simpler parts so that we can handle it easily here i have written it divides problem a program into parts when they are unable to handle it i think you are able to understand both the points see the next point fourth beneficial in solving complex problem the similar thing in not suitable for complex problem from this concept you are able to understand the fourth point also in the fifth point data never flow globally from function to function data flow globally from function to function means that the this one if we allow our data to flow from one employee to another employee easily then we have an issue if we restrict them to flow globally then we don't have an issue for example in our company if if we have given everything to everyone every information to every employee then it is difficult for a company to run why if our employee leaves our company then that company have to face lot of problem that's why data never flow globally and here data flow globally it affects on that company see the next one in this we have not not provided anything to anyone that's why there is no security issues but here they have provide everything to everyone they are facing security issue i think you are able to understand thank you